This video is brought to you by Aftershoot, a longtime partner and a sponsor of my channel. Stick around because their AI culling and editing software is a total game changer. More details and a discount code at the end of the video. When you think Canon, you probably think lenses, cameras, photography. You don't really think about what we are going to show you today. I have David with me. Um, and uh, David, well, we have something very interesting behind us. Yeah, and tell me what is this? Well, what we've got here is our VR solution. So VR is really, really important to us. And obviously VR, we're talking about virtual reality. This is something that has really, really grown in huge um, steps and leaps and bounds in the last sort of six to eight months. With other companies getting talking about VR, it really has become big. So this lens you've got here, you've got in your hand, this is our dual fisheye um, VR lens. Um, this we launched about three or four years ago. And, but recently it's got really, really big and really exciting. And basically what this is about, this is about shooting VR content to be viewed on VR headsets. Uh, things like you know, the Oculus Quest or the new Apple headset, that kind of thing. Yeah. And what it does, it gives you truly immersive, um, immersive uh, video. Now if you have a look at the front of it, you see you've got, yeah, it's got two, it's pretty unique, isn't it, to have two lenses on. Absolutely, yeah. And the idea of this is you're capturing two images separately. Mm -hmm. So you're capturing a left eye and a right eye. And what this is doing, this gives you two separate images on the sensor. You see here, two, two separate circular images. Now you put it through our software, which then flattens the images out, which is called an equirectangular conversion, okay? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remember that term. Um, and then you just edit it like any normal file. And then when you output it from your editing software, you e output it as 180 VR. In the headset, it's then projected as two separate images, left eye and right eye, and then it gives you that 3D effect. The easy part is the editing and actually getting onto the headset. The hard part is actually the shooting. That's the difficult bit. Resolution is really important. Yeah. So we, two of the cameras that you can use this on shoot 8K, and then the ultimate is 8K 60P. That looks amazing. That was yeah. actually my question, well, my first question, because you obviously have to lose some um, resolution because it's split into two. It uses single sensor, right? Correct, yeah. So the same sensor um, records two bits of video yeah. that later is I guess stretched yeah yeah it's yeah, stretched out when you get those two flat images that then gives you the 4k or the 8k depending on what product you're using so when we first launched it we did it on the R5 and the R5C you really need that resolution but saying that we've now started doing the R6 Mark II which is only 4k but actually it looks really really nice yeah so it's not just about the resolution it's about the, the actual look and feel of it and even though it's lower resolution it does still look really really nice on the headset so we would recommend 8k and 8k with um uh, 60p is the ultimate but actually 4k looks really really nice so obviously it's impossible to show it um, on camera we can only show the back of the camera yeah i'm afraid so but i don't know if you watched um the Hobbit. When they filmed it in 3D, they used two red cameras next to each other and they filmed like basically two different points of view, let's call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had to heavily modify them and then turn one upside down to be close enough to the other one. Over here we have it, uh, as you said, this is um, the, the width of um, human eyes. 6.2 or 6.3 or something like that, which gives you that distance, which is the average distance between uh, the human eyes which gives you the gives you the same depth perception when you're viewing it on a headset as what you're actually looking normally yeah apart from from this incredible lens here yep. um, we have some more stuff to to um, talk about no one's allowed to touch them but you're welcome to have a look let me pop that there a minute quick touch it no <laughs> i heard that um yeah so so we are heavily invested in vr okay vr is going to be really really important for us going forward it's something that we really want to um uh, um, yeah, we really want to get involved in because this is this is a really exciting part of imaging, and as Canon, we're all about imaging, and this is a really exciting development. So, so this lens exists at the moment. So this one, this is the one we've got at the moment. This in the we market. We can actually buy it, right? Yep, you can actually buy this lens. It's about two two thousand two hundred something like around that sort of price point. Um, and then obviously you need the body to go along with it. But the body you can use for anything. So if you bought an R5 or an R6, you could use it for shooting as you would normally, but then this lens will allow you to do VR. Now these guys we've got here, these are hopefully coming to us soon. We've got two lenses here, these two here. These are designed to go on APS-C size sensor bodies. Okay. This lens is designed for full frame only. These will work on APS-C. 
We've got a 3D stereoscopic VR lens this side, and then we've got a 3D stereoscopic lens. Now, I'm not allowed to say any more about them than that. Um, I'm mean, under strict instructions not to talk too much about them, but you can see that they're quite different and for quite different solutions. But the point is that both fit on APS-C size sensor cameras. Am I, am I allowed to say what I see? Is that okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. but I, I may not be able to comment, but yeah, you can say what you see, yeah. So just so you guys understand what I'm seeing right here. So this is very similar to the lens we just looked at from what I can see, obviously. We can't ask about any more. But this one here, it has two tiny lenses inside, if I'm seeing correctly. Yep. And they are obviously much closer to each other than the others. So I assume maybe the effect is a bit different to what we have here. I know you can't tell much. Um, but this is for a smaller sensor as well, right? Yeah, correct. This is for APS-C. And what's great about this is this will make VR more cost effective as well. So this will be at a different price point. We should open VR up to more people. Because VR is so exciting, it's difficult to shoot, but once you get it right, it is amazing. So to be able to get more people to get invested in VR is great. And then, I don't know if you've not noticed this funny looking guy oh, yeah, in the middle here. Yeah. yeah, so this is, um, this is a two-in-one camera. This okay. is. So basically what you've got here, you've got two lenses, which once again, look at the distance between them, it's the same. Yeah. So the idea is that you've still got that really good um, uh, 3D effect. But this lens here will actually flick around the back which then gives you 360 in 2D. So this camera not only does 360 2D, but when you flick the lens round, will give you 180 3D, all in one product. And this is also 8K as well. So when did these come out? When can we learn more about them? So I can't give any dates or anything like that yet. This is basically concept cameras, so it's something that we're working on. Um, these hopefully will come to the market soon, and then we'll be able to give you more information. But I'm afraid at the moment, this is all we can say. I kind of have a, a, a weird question here, because I, I don't know how much um, we can actually do in this direction, but this is obviously all video. Yep. What about photos? Yep, you can do stills. You can do shoot stills with this if you like. When you view them, you need to be able to separate both your eyes though. You need to have that separation. So if you, this technology isn't particularly new. I was just talking to a gentleman just now when he was saying that he's been, you know, not he's been doing, but he knows of stereoscopic photography back from the 1860s or something similar. So this kind of technology isn't new, but the video aspect of it, the, the VR side of it, is something that's new, and that is why it's really, really exciting. Initially, when I saw it, it reminded me of, um, I forget the name now, but there's a really old camera that actually has a dual and even quadruple lens. Yep, yeah, quad lens. I remember using one at college, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, I, I doubt this is 3D, or the, the other one is 3D. I think it's just to make the, the image wider. The system that I know of was one where you had the two lenses which would shoot onto two separate frames on a 35 mil roll of film. So this tech kind of technology has been around you know, for quite a long time in yeah. different sort of guises and this kind of thing. But I think it's only the advent really of the headsets mm. and people's interest in shooting VR and people's ad, you know, interest in um, VR gaming even. Yes. What I'm finding is the younger generation coming through now are getting this straight away. They're understanding it because they've grown up with VR. Yeah. And they're like, yep, no, I understand this is, this is great. This is something that you know, we can look at doing work. We can look at using creatively. Um, um, but yeah, it's, a, it's early, early days, I think, of this technology. Um, there's a lot of people still trying to work out how they would use this. They're really interested, but how can they incorporate this into their, their shooting or into their business or whatever? And there's some great opportunities coming. So I think the future, yeah, is really exciting for VR. Can you tell me who do you see as, as the kind of customer for this kind of lens? Would it be more kind of production side or is it more for amateurs just to play with and, and have something in VR that they've made themselves? Okay, at the moment, um, it's mostly on the business side of it. So okay. we've got people, I mean, real estate seems to be a big one at the moment. We're getting a lot of interest in that, a lot of interest from medical as well, a lot of interest from, um, uh, uh, like uh, emergency services, so training, experience, that kind of thing. If you, so if it's very point of view, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If it's very expensive to put someone in a situation, it's a good sales tool as well. There's um, uh, manufacturers like car manufacturers that are looking at this sort of technology, and um, we've got companies looking at using these for finding faults within particular things because. Oh, what's the stat now? Retention of information is something like 30 to 40% greater when you use VR. Even museums are interested in this as well, because sometimes you can't, yeah, you can't get to um, certain exhibits and this kind of thing. But what, I'd love to see more wildlife. The idea is to simulate my eyes, and uh, if I can't move 
with my eyes, but they are moving, that makes you sick, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. It's a classic motion sickness. And this is all things that, I mean, I personally have done this journey, so I've learned all of this the hard way by making these mistakes. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's, it's a fascinating way of shooting and does open up really, you know, new levels of creativity. Yeah, so yeah, really exciting. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm heading over to your VR corner now to, to play with the headsets. <laughs> Uh, but this is this is amazing. I really like the idea of it. I, I think it's going to go a long way. It's something that isn't really um, seen that much yet, but it's going to be big. I, I think there's a future in this. This is really exciting, and you know, like I said, the, the new levels of creativity you can do with this is just great. And that's what we're all about at Canon. You know, enabling people to get the best best images they can. So yeah, great tech. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. It's all right. No problem. Lovely to thank see you, me, David. Yeah. Have you ever dreamt of a personal photo editing genie? Meet Aftershoot, an AI that doesn't just edit, but also picks the best shots. Just upload your raw files, set your AI profile, and watch the magical unicorns do their work. It calls and edits photos in your style, giving you the precious me time you've been longing for. And for the perfectionist, you can still fine tune your photos in your preferred editing software. Your first 30 days are on me, totally free, no catch, just loads of fun. Aftershoot works offline, so nothing can slow you down regardless where you are. If you ever feel lost, their 24-7 support is always there to help you. Use link aftershoot.co slash Conrad for 20% discount on any Aftershoot plan. Enjoy your discount and spend the time you save on making more money.